Primary indications for cesarean section include fetal hypoxia, abnormal fetal lie, placenta previa, a clinically contracted pelvis, and severe maternal illness. Preoperatively, thromboprophylaxis and prophylactic antibiotics are given. The fetal lie and presentation are assessed. For pain control, spinal or epidural anesthesia is preferred. A 15 cm Joel Cohen incision is made 3 cm above the pubic symphysis. Skin and subcutis are incised with a scalpel. The fascia is open transversely, rectus muscles bluntly separated, reducing postoperative pain and blood loss. Parietal peritoneum is lifted with forceps, open briefly, and extended manually to expose the lower uterine segment. A transverse uterine incision is made 1-2 cm above the vesicuterin pouch and then widened manually. After that, the amniotic sac is opened under direct visualization. In this clinical case, fetal hypoxia has led to green, meconium-stained amniotic fluid. The fetus is then delivered. In cephalic presentation, the surgeon places a hand beneath the head and gently elevates it while the assistant applies counterpressure to the fundus. In breech presentation, delivery proceeds by the pelvic pole. Delivery is slow to avoid uterine rupture and fetal cervical injury. The umbilical cord is clamped and cut. Expect spontaneous placental expulsion. If absent by one to two minutes, remove manually by sweeping a hand along the uterine wall to separate it from the decidua. Inspect the uterus in clear residual membranes. The uterus is closed with a single row of continuous absorbable sutures. The visceral peritoneum is not sutured, as this has been shown to reduce postoperative pain and adhesion incidence. The fascia is closed with a continuous suture. Subcutaneous tissue may be sutured if its thickness exceeds two centimeters finally the skin is closed with an intradermal cosmetic suture. Following cesarean section, routine drainage is performed only in cases of bleeding.